If you then run it, you'll see now I'm going to run the timer and you'll see the lines all coming off. I'm going to set the model to have about a one minute T. Um, I'm going to press just like as, you know, as if you had a fully wound motor. I'm going to press on this and you'll see the DPR will release. The other thing I should mention is that you can see here that there's a second piece of cable running to this lever here. We call this an instant start lever. This is really useful if you're not used to a delayed prop release. This, this makes it easy so that you can actually allow this, you can allow the timer to release the delayed prop arm here and you hold this lever down and that prevents this delayed prop arm from, from releasing and prevents the prop from going. Okay? The great thing about that is that you can, while you're re when you're ready to launch the model, you can release the timer, let it run, you're holding this arm, um, and so that when you throw the model and release the arm, then the prop will start instantly. Okay, so you don't have to hold the prop with your other hand. It's a really handy device for, uh, especially for novices. Okay, so I'm going to release the timer. I'm holding that arm. The prop is gone. I throw it. Now the prop has started. There goes the VIT. Okay. So the stab has now gone up. Next one is uh, order rudder. And the last, you know, the next one to go after about 35, 40 seconds will be this. Uh, so now the model is spiraling up. It's climbing. And when it gets up to after about 40 seconds, the um, this gray line will release, releasing the wing wiggler. There you go. And in about 30 seconds time, the DT line will pop and release the stab. So I think I said one minute per scroll. It should be 30 seconds per scroll. And so that will release now. There you go. So that's the DT released. Okay. I'll run through the whole thing once more just for clarity. So I'm going to stop it. So when you get to the model, you, st you can stop the timer, prevent it from running all the way down. Wind your back up again. You don't want to overwind it, you just want to go close to being fully wound. You can usually, once you get a feel for it, you'll know, you'll feel, get a feel for the tension on the, on the winder. You'll know when you're close to being full. So yeah, one more turn and I'm full. Okay, so that's fully wound up. So I'm going to release the timer, reset the DPR. You can see when it gets to that gap, it's going to pop underneath the flange. There we go, it's underneath the flange. I'm going to stop it when it's close to the release gap okay that's perfect timer is locked now the instant start lever is down I'm gonna push those guys underneath this one here set the set this down one two for a full minute okay that's two scrolls Hook up the wing wiggler line, so that's hooked up. Some of them are tighter, you actually have to release the arm to get this on. This one is nice and this one's, this one's convenient, so you just hook it up. Uh, that means it's pushed this pin up so that left wing is more negative. Now I'm going to hook up the lines again from top to bottom. So first one is the uh, VIT variable incidence tail. Second one is glide, oh sorry, um, first rudder line. 
pulling the rudder over to the left. Third one is the DT line. Okay, so that one determines how long your flight's going to be. Last one is the wing wiggler glide rudder line. So when the prop folds, wing wiggler is shifted so that the wings are more level with each other. Okay, and the rudder kicks over to the right to give a right hand circle. Okay, when you You've wound your motor. You've, as you're, when you hook up the front end to the motor, you push this lever back, hook it up to the motor, pull out the half tube, install the front end, release this. The blades will be out. Okay. I'm gonna. So I've now released it, so it's pushing. Right. I'm pressing. I hold this down and I throw, I let it run so the DPR lever releases, so it's released, okay, you can see that it can now, it can come out, right, so when I let go of the, when I throw the model now, the prop will start instantly, okay, which is perfect, that's exactly what you want, I release, the prop starts, there goes the, um, the VIT, there goes the order rudder for burst or, or for uh, cruise. The model's now cruising up, it's making big, oh, there are nice circles climbing up. After a few seconds, the wing wiggler and glide rudder now kicks in. There goes the wing wiggler and glide rudder. So now the model, the prop is now folded and it's gliding and it'll glide until the um, DT line releases. There you go, DT just kicked and the stab kicked up. Okay, so that is the basics of how to rig this system. Um, if you have any questions, leave something in the comments or send me an email and I will try to clarify. Thank you.